So the bonus, because I have seen a lot of the same questions. The anchor link trick. What exactly is the anchor link trick? The anchor link trick lets you connect a page or a link to an anchor link of a different page. This is basically a question that a lot of web users are asking. Okay, so I know we have a question from Jonathan. Can we link, can we have multiple pages or multiple links um, link to a certain section of the page? So this is exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, not yet for the cheat sheet. <laughs> so number one, to understand better how this works, okay? We don't have a function that does it for you. We need to do it by ourselves. So we do need to be a tiny bit code savvy, but it's really, really simple. Just follow my lead and trust me, you'll do, you'll do fine. All right, so first of all, let's publish our website. There you go. And then I'm gonna teach you how to inspect any element on, I'm using Chrome. Um, I generally, you have it on all the browsers uh, uh, basically, but what you need to do is right click anywhere you want. You can right click on a button, you can right click on a text, you can just right click wherever you want and you're gonna see inspect. Sorry, the window opened up somewhere else. All right, so don't be afraid, everything's fine. Okay, every time that you, I'm just gonna put it here by the way. Every time that you right click, you know what, just to, I'm just gonna put it on, on the side here. All right, every time that you right click on any element, the, in the inspect element window, it's gonna select already uh, the element in the code. Okay, so if let's say I click on the get started button and click inspect, you see that um, that um, the widget, the element itself is highlighted. To better understand it, if you go on the WebIDU Studio and you click on get started and you go to your layers panel, you're gonna see ghost button 43. Here, you're gonna see inner magic widget 43. Okay, or for example, if we're looking at branding, inspect, this is a text element, by the way. All right, so you're, you're gonna see inner text. When you hover over with your mouse on, uh, on the element itself, uh, on, on, the, on the, the ID, the div ID, this is what we call it, it's gonna select automatically the element. All right, so what we need to do is to right click on the anchor shape, inspect and it's going to automatically highlight my inner shape so you see the id here okay let me know if you guys want me to redo this i'm just going to copy it i just double clicked right click copy okay let's open a new page call it the freelancer this is my website i'm just going to take off this now we're talking about the homepage. So the homepage is always .com, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a hashtag and I'm gonna paste exactly the ID that I copied. If I press enter, I'm gonna be led directly to that section of the page. So, have a look, I'm just gonna paste it so that you can all see. So I'm gonna send you all the link. All right, I don't know if I sent it, but I'm just making sure. I sent you all a link. Um, test it out, if you click on it, you'll be redirected directly into that section of the page. Let me know if it works. And if so, let me know if I can continue to do exactly the same thing for the second anchor link. Okay, I see that it works. Okay, let's move on. Let's do again. So to do it, 
all right? We can still do it on the same page. It doesn't matter. If I right click on the element and I click inspect, uh, the element that has an anchor link, I'm going to see the div ID equals inner shape 328. I'm going to copy that. I can close this after. And instead of inner shape, let's take it out. And by the way, it needs to be hashtag after the dot com, no slash. And I'm going to paste exactly what I copied. Inner shape 328, press enter, boom. I am led directly to it. Okay. Now, let's say right now, let's open a page. Let's open a... Thank you. Is there a menu? Wow, there's a menu. Okay, so this is a thank you, just in case my form works and it leads you to a thank you page. This is my thank you page. Let's say I want to go to the section of demo. And we said that the section of the demo, 328, is it 328? No. Let's do it. This is the demo, right? Let's right click, inspect. Inner shape, 328. Oh, it's because of the slash. Oh, just in case, let's redo it. No oh, apologies. The freelancer. Hashtag, paste it. Working. Wonderful. So I'm going to copy the whole link. Okay. Copy the whole link. I'm going to go to Webidio. And if, let's say, by the way, oh, okay. Wonderful. One minute. I'm just thinking. Okay, cool. So uh, let's step back for a minute. Thing is, that if I click on services from my thank you page, it's not going to work. But if I change through my pages and navigation services, the link, it'll, it'll be problematic because it's not going to work later on my anchor link. So what do I need to do? I'm going to create a new menu, menu webinar. Let's create anchor menu. Okay. Now stay with me. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create purely links, okay? So the first link is gonna be home. And it leads to internal link, which is the homepage. We're good. Next, new link services. I'm just gonna click okay. It doesn't mean I'm linking anything. Home is only the only one that is Confirm that is connected. I'm going to add a new link. Demo. Now keep in mind, I'm going to send you the link, the direct link of the demo anchor. When you click on it, it goes down straight to the anchor um, for you to keep. Test it. Let me know if it works for you guys. And I'll keep in mind that we're going to use this link later on. So new link. Testimonials. Okay. The plans. Blog. And contact. All right, wonderful. Now, I'm going to share with you something before I even explain how to do it. But on my webinar, uh, I'm going to explain repeat on all pages. Um, I'm not going to show you exactly why, the, the how, the why. I'm going to explain to you in a couple of minutes. I do want to concentrate on the anchor link trick. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, repeat on all pages, and just take it off from the thank you page. Okay, before I do that, I would like to duplicate it. Put it aside, repeat on all pages, I'll take it out. Sorry, I need to undo this mistake.
the original one I need to take out. All right. Now I am going to explain what I just did. Now, a small trick that I've learned also uh, working with WebView, sometimes you want to bring certain el pinned elements to front. So I generally, to make it work, instead of clicking here a million times, is that I unpin it and then pin it back again. So it works. All right. So remember when I created the anchor menu and the top menu? Basically, there was a th they're, uh, they're the same. There are links to my other menu. Now, I kept the design. Um, we're not talking about design. And what I just did, I just simply changed the menu from top menu to anchor menu. Did anything change? Nada. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to go to the demo link. And keep in mind, this is what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to, the link type is not going to be an internal link, it's going to be an external link. And remember the link that I sent you? I'm going to copy it. Open the URL. That leads me straight to that section. We copy it and we paste it here. We're going to click OK. And now all we need to do is publish. All right, I'm inside the thank you page. Let's go to demo. And voila, there you have it. All right, so to do this again, the first thing that you need to do, set up anchor links as normal, okay? We're gonna review it right now together. Make sure that the anchor links are colors so that you can recognize them. Publish the page. We have published the page. Inspect the anchor elements like I showed you link the inspected elements to the page to make sure that they work, okay? So I forgot to mention, I forgot to add, which I'm gonna add later on uh, after this webinar so that when, I, when we send it to you, it's gonna be uh, properly ordered, um, is that you need to recre recreate the menu. To recreate the menu, all you need to do is go to pages and just create links. Not pages, links, okay? You cannot link a page to an anchor link. A page is a page. Okay. Um, let's see. Simply connect all the other pages to the sub pages except the page that has the anchor link. So let's do it again just for the fun of it because we love having fun. So, what we're going to do, we're going to publish this website. And I'm going to do again the whole process. Okay, first thing that you need to do, set up anchor link as if nothing happened, you're not doing anything, okay? Then what you're going to do, you're gonna to go to pages navigation and create a new menu and call it anchor menu, okay? This anchor menu has a list of links that lead to the pages of your website or the section of the pages of your website. Um, as long as you have the links that are the same name as the pages of your website, you're good to go. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go, for example, let's say testimonials. You're going to right click, inspect, and we're going to see here the div ID 329. We're going to copy the div ID only. And on my website, on my domain, I'm going to put a hashtag. And I'm going to paste the div ID that I have copied. Press enter, and I'm going to be led directly to the testimonials. I'm going to copy the whole link. Go back to my studio, go to pages. Oh, I created the page to delete, by the way. You can delete here, delete menu. Go to my anchor menu, and we said testimonials, right? So I'm going to go to the testimon to my link properties. Link type will be an external link. And here, 
I will paste the whole link I have copied. Okay. Now let's publish the thank you page. Okay, let's go to testimonials. There you go. I am sent to that specific section of the page. Okay, is it clear to everyone? I'm gonna make sure that I have a good cheat sheet for it. Okay, but is it at least the way that I explain clear enough for everyone? 